Hi everyone, I'm John C. Morley, a serial entrepreneur. And uh, welcome to another J. Moore Review. Not too long ago, I actually did an unboxing of the LinkStation Navigator um, and uh, the 220 um, series. And this one is actually two four terabyte hard drives for a total of eight terabytes. But actually, when you enable the RAID functionality, which is how it comes from the factory, uh, you actually only get four terabytes. With the, the overhead uh, and some of the software they've preloaded, you're basically getting 3709.2. So not quite four terabytes, but you know, pretty close. So I've downloaded the latest version of NAS Navigator. So if you don't know what that is, that's actually the software that allows you to see your Buffalo tech devices on the network. It says here, enter the password. I'm gonna enter a password right now. I'm not gonna share it with you. I'm gonna type that same password in again. Again, it's, it's obfuscating it, so you cannot see my password, which is pretty cool. I recommend choosing something that you're gonna remember. Um, saying the password is pretty easy. If you forget the password, well, there's a, a step or two you have to go through, and it's not hard, but it just can be a little bit annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and say next. Once I do that, it's gonna go ahead and execute the job to apply the settings, which is pretty easy, and you can see right on the screen that it's doing that. This is gonna just take a couple seconds. Now it's asking me, do I wanna set this as a public folder or do I wanna set this as a private folder? So if I set it as a public folder, anyone can access this folder. It's recommended for sharing photos and videos uh, with your family and friends. I recommend setting it as a private folder. Let me tell you why. If somebody does get into your network, you wanna make sure that they can't access your data. So I'm gonna set this as a private folder. And right now, the only person that can access this folder, I'm gonna set right now for the admin to have read-only access, and I'm gonna set the guest to have no access. If I set up read-only, then I would only be able to read if I did read and write, but I don't want to use guest access, so I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna say apply. You can also create other users for um, other business employees or for your family members, and I'm done. Ask if I want to save the password. I don't. And you will see that I have quite a bit of stuff up here. I have getting started, I have web access, I have advanced settings. So right over here, you're going to see there's a power button. Okay. Click on advanced settings right now for me. And you're going to see there's lots of information. I want you to go right to where it says management. Okay. See what it says this link station is using the latest firmware? Well, that's great. If it wasn't, I could click right on here and I could check to see if there was a new update. So I'm doing that right now just to show you. And it says this link station is using the latest update. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, where it says name and language, you can actually come in here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is really cool. You can change your link station's name. I recommend calling it like NAS. You can call it NAS1. I'm gonna call it NAS2 because I already have um, an NAS on my network, network attached storage. I'm gonna click OK. Take a second for that to save. And I have to tell you, uh, I've used Buffalo products before. This is the first time I'm using this product. It functions very similar to the way a lot of the higher price products work. So you have your file sharing menu, you have your drives menu, you have your USB drive, so you can display uh, connected USB drives, which is pretty cool. I can go into backup. Right now I could set a backup from this device to something else. I can use Time Machine for Mac. I can do a direct copy. I have to tell you that from what I've been seeing with this device and playing around with it, it works very similar to the way the other devices work. And even though some of the other devices have some other features, I'm really impressed with the way this device actually works. Now, if you notice on the top here, you're gonna see it says download. When I click on download, which I'm gonna do right now, and when I've done that, it asks me for my region. So I'll click United States. And it asks me, what do I want? My manual, HTML, PDF, quick setup guide, and known issues. I really gotta give uh, the folks at Buffalo a big thumbs up because one of the things I always used to hate is that you had to go to their website, you had to put in a serial number, 
if it was something that had to be validated for a serial number and it would just take more time. Now they actually put it right into the device. So kudos on that. Again, I really like the product. And for the price tag of this product, which was not a lot of money, I think this product was under $400. It was like three or $400. It was really reasonable. And again, I'm getting eight terabytes, almost eight terabytes. So this is perfect for somebody who wants to store that uh, long life history of photos, videos. But you don't need to pay all that money to store it on the cloud. And this is great, especially if you do what I do at home and in the office, I like to produce videos. I need storage for that. And you need to put a pl have a place for that. You can rearrange title, uh, t the tiles here, which is nice. You click on power click on restart right here and it'll restart the device automatically. Hey, uh, Buffalo, I got to give you, and you know I don't like to give a total 10, so I'm going to give you a 9.8. Uh, the only reason that I'm going to do that is because I would have liked to see uh, the ability that when I plugged in the device, it would automatically just recognize it doesn't do that. So again, you have to download the software, find it. Yes, I can do that. It takes a little bit more effort. So I would have liked to see the fact that I could just plug it in, go right to it, and not have to do much more. But really easy, really simple. If you're someone that you know wants to store lots of photos or videos or just needs a place to be able to store those programs you purchased with license keys, it can be a headache to have to figure out where they are, uh, what email address you use, all in all, Buffalo, I think it's a great product. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you are looking for an affordable RAID solution to plug into your home desktop or even your laptop, uh, this is connected to our network, I would definitely recommend the Link Station 220. And depending on whether you need to have the eight terabytes and definitely leave it in the RAID mode. People say, well, John, why wouldn't I just take it out of RAID? The reason is if you take it out of RAID, you're not gonna have that redundancy. So that's really uh, important uh, when it comes to uh, especially safeguarding your data. One of the things I use it for is I have a program and every night it takes an image of my hard drive and it actually pops it onto here. So that means I can store several images of uh, my used space of my hard drive and um, I could recover if there were any problems. Remember, I always talk about ransomware and even if you have protection, there still can be those issues, even with the greatest protection, and it might not catch everything. So wouldn't it be nice to have a backup of that? Hey, if you like this review and you'd like to see more of them, hey, why don't you show me some love? Click on the thumbs up button, smash the bell notification icon so you're instantly notified. Click on the subscribe button. And um, of course, if you really enjoyed it, below every one of my videos, click on the link and make the choice to buy my team and I a cup of coffee with those pennies and dollars. We invest into new hardware, new technology, new equipment to give you inspiring technology that will make you more productive and help you become a better version of yourself. I'm John C. Morley, serial entrepreneur and engineer, and you've been watching the Dreamer Reviews channel. I'll see you back here for another review real shortly.